This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. This lecture is on Accounting Standard Number Thirty Seven, and I hope you printed out the uh, lecture notes uh, because you'll see it's on what we call provisions, contingent liabilities, and contingent assets. So um, a few things here. First of all, be clear what we mean by each of those terms. Uh, first of all, a provision. Uh, as I've written there, I'm not going to write out uh, <coughs> write out the notes on the screen. Uh, but a provision is a liability where we're not certain of either the amount or the timing of it. So an example of that might be tax. We've prepared our financial statements for the year. We know what the profit is. Uh, but uh, we're going to have to estimate how much tax will be payable. There are all sorts of rules for tax, how we calculate the amount, uh, which aren't in the syllabus of this exam. Uh, but we're going to have to estimate the tax payable. But we won't know the amount for certain until the tax people uh, have agreed it. And that can take some time. You know, the year's only just finished. We've made a profit of 100,000. But it'll be some time before we actually have to pay any tax. And we'll never be certain of the amount we'll have to pay until um, the state's looked at it and we've argued with them and so on. Uh, well, we, it, we are going to be owing money, but we call it a provision because, as I say, uh, at the end of the year, we're not certain uh, of the amount, and we might not be certain of exactly when it will be paid. So that's what a provision is. A contingent liability Uh, this, again, is where uh, we're perhaps owing money, a liability. But the word contingent means that whether we owe money or not depends on the outcome of something. So an example of that, maybe we've been taken to court. You know, somebody came to visit our business, the, the floor was wet, they slipped, they broke the legs. And so they've taken us to court claiming damages because it was our fault that the floor was wet. Now, uh, we're going to fight the court case. Uh, we don't think it was our fault. But the court case hasn't been heard yet. Uh, and of course, it uh, depending on the result of the court case will determine whether or not we end up having to pay anything. Uh, if we win the court case, we won't pay anything at all. If we lose the court case, then we will have to pay out money. But the, the case hasn't been heard yet in the court. And so we don't know. It might happen, it might not. So there might be a liability. Uh, finally, uh, for definitions, a contingent asset. It's really the other way around. You know, maybe we've sued a supplier. We've taken a supplier to court uh, because uh, we say they supplied us with faulty goods, but they won't give us our money back. So we're taking them to court. And whether we receive money from them or not, depends on the result of the court case. The court case hasn't been heard yet. It won't be heard for another few months. And so if we win, we'll receive money. If we lose, we won't receive money. So there might be a receivable. It depends. So that's what we mean by these. Um, the first two are fairly similar, but a provision appreciates. Uh, we are going to be owing money, but we're just not certain of the amount or the timing. 
contingent liability, we might be owing money, but we're not sure. We don't know yet whether we will or not. Uh, well, the requirements of IS7, now, the 37, this looks a bit confusing. Provisions, it says, if the payment is probable, then we should recognise in the financial statements. Now, what we mean by recognise is we should show money as owing if it's probable we're going to have to pay, and probable is if it's more than 50% likely. Now, how do we know if it's more than 50 We take advice. We take advice from experts. So, I mean, tax, for instance, unless something really strange is going on, um, we may not be certain of the amount we're going to have to pay, but it is more than usually more than 50% likely we will have to pay something. Uh, and we take advice from tax experts as to whether it was more than 50% likely. Uh, but if it is, then we must recognise it in the financial statements. We do show it as a liability. Uh, on the other hand, if we're advised that it's possible we'll have to pay some, and possible is between 5 and 50% likely, and again, we take advice on that, then we don't show it as owing, but we will write a note attached to the accounts. So we won't show it as owing, but we will write a note saying, uh, oh, there's a 40% chance we'll have to pay this much. Uh, finally, if the payment is remote, if the chances of having to pay anything are less than 5%, and again, we take advice from experts, then we don't do anything we don't recognise it, we don't show it as owing, and we don't even write a note. Now, for something as, uh, like tax, where I've explained we'd have a provision, uh, then this probable possible remote uh, is normally going to be irrelevant, you know. We are going to have to pay tax. It is probable. Even It's just that we don't know exactly how much, but we will show it as owing, it's probable. But where it becomes relevant is when we come to contingent liabilities. I've said it, we might be taken to court and so on. Well, now this is the bit to get straight. Suppose we've already been, something's already happened. I, I said a contingent liability, maybe a, a customer's been and visited, they slipped on a wet floor, they've taken us to court. If they've all, if the action's already occurred, so if they've already slipped before the end of the year, but we haven't yet had the court case, then, although it's contingent, it depends on the result of the court case, if the slip, if the accident had occurred before the end of our year, it is a provision. And so then the remote, the possible, the probable become very relevant. We'd ask our lawyers, what are the chances that we'll lose the court case? And depending on whether they say it's remote, possible, probable, 5%, 50%, those rules that we went through, then we'll either, if it's remote, do nothing. The chances are so tiny of us losing. Uh, on the other hand, if it's possible we'll lose 5 to 50%, we won't show any money as owing, but we'll write a note about it. Uh, if it's probable that we'll lose, more than 50% chance we'll lose, then we would have the provision we'd show it as owing. Uh, but that's if the event's already happened, that the person has had the accident, it's just we haven't gone to court yet. Um, if, on the other hand, the accident occurred after our year end. And okay, as at the year end, there'd be no accident. But after the year end, somebody had this accident and they're taking us to court. Well, it's still called a contingent liability. But 
we won't show it if anything is owing. We won't have a provision because it, the accident hadn't happened before the year end. We'll write a note in the accounts, attach a note saying, since the year end, somebody's had an accident, they're taking us to court, we may have to pay this much and so on. Um, unless the likelihood of us losing is less than 5%, it is remote, then we don't even write a note. So think of what, about what I've said uh, and read that page carefully, make sure you've got it, and learn the remote, the possible, the probable. Uh, finally, contingent assets where we might receive money. Look at what I've written on the next page. If it's virtually certain that we're going to receive some money, we've taken the supplier to court and so on, if it's virtually certain, more than 95% likely, then we show it as owing. If, on the other hand, it's probable, more than 50%, we'll show a note. So we won't show it as owing in the accounts, but we will write a note saying it's probable we're going to receive this money. However, if it's less than 50%, either possible or remote, uh, then we don't show any money as owing and we don't even write a note. So, it's not a problem for you in terms of numbers, but it is in terms of definitions and the way we treat it is probable, possible, remote.